Hello, 31 Day Challenge participants. This is McCade Marshall just coming to you to check in really quick. Today marks part four, God is always faithful. And I love this section because it's a great reminder of that God is always faithful to us no matter what. And in life, people are going to fail us. Even our best friends, our spouse, our co-workers, people are going to let us down. And sometimes they're even going to be unfaithful. But God is never unfaithful. He's not, he is faithful to his word and he's faithful to his people to do what he said he's going to do. So I want to encourage you today in that. And also, if you have fallen behind in 31 Day Challenge, I want to encourage you to get back up and go and keep reading. I've had challengers in the past who've read straight into February and even into March. I've had people submit their favorite devotional in March to receive their free gift for doing the 31 day challenge. So I want to encourage you to get back up. In Proverbs it says, though a righteous person falls seven times, they get back up. So I want to encourage you in that, that God has given you a can-do spirit to get back up and keep going. And also, I want to encourage you as well uh, to take time at the end of each devotional this week. Just get quiet before the Lord, whether it be 60 seconds or two minutes, and just meditate on the scriptures. Meditate on the devotional you just read. Because I believe that God wants to speak to you in a special way as you read the devotionals this week. So maybe during thoughts for the day, just get yourself really quiet and listen and ask God to just show you or tell you something. Because Jesus tells us in John chapter 10, verse 27, that he says, my sheep hear my voice. They know my voice. And I believe that you know the voice of Jesus. And he wants to speak something personally to you. So I want to encourage you to get quiet before God. Just clear your mind, clear the clutter, clear your heart, and just receive God's word, what he wants to speak to you this week. And also today marks day 19, which the word for the day is lean. And it's from Proverbs, which says, lean not on your own understanding, but rather trust in the Lord with all your heart. And if you think about what it means to lean, if you lean on a tree or you lean on a table or you lean against a wall or even lean against another person, what you're really doing is you're taking the weight off your feet. You're taking the weight off of just standing. You're taking the pressure off. And in the same way, when we lean on God, when we lean on his word, when we trust him for his word, it takes the pressure off. Things aren't so heavy. We have something we can rely on, we can depend on. So I want to encourage you to not lean on your own strength, but lean on the strength of God. Because I believe it's going to make your life easier and better as we learn to lean on the truth of God's word. And also, if you haven't gone to the 31 Day Challenge chat board, I encourage you to do that today. I've had several people already post on the chat board. If you go to mccademarshall.com, click on that 31 Day Challenge chat tab on the left. It'll take you to the chat board and you can just click there and it will let you start posting your thoughts, any prayer requests, uh, any testimonies. As a matter of fact, just a couple weeks ago, we had someone submit a testimony that was over the day about God's favor. And they just read the devotional, how God gave Mo Noah favor. Noah had favor in the eyes of God. God saved his life and his family life from an ensuing flood. And instead of dying, Noah and his family lived because he had the Lord's favor. And this person said, McCade, I'm able to do 31 day challenge this year because I'm still alive. They said right before New Year's, um, I was in a serious incident that should have killed me. But because of God's favor, I was delivered and I was came out unharmed. And now I'm able to do 31 day challenge. And so that was a really incredible testimony. And maybe you don't have some uh, life-altering testimony, but maybe it's something small God did in your life. Maybe it's a way he spoke to you through one of the devotionals. I encourage you, go onto the chat board. If nobody else engages with you, I will. I post every single day. So go ahead and make sure to check out that 31 Day Challenge chat board. And I just want to pray over everyone really quick as we enter the second half 
of 31 Day Challenge. So wherever you are, if you just want to bow your head, close your eyes, listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, I thank you so much for everyone right now, all our 31 Day Challengers. I am so proud that each and every one of them took a leap of faith to do 31 Day Challenge this year, and I know that you're proud of them, Father. And I believe, Lord, that because they've taken time out of their busy schedules this January, they have said yes to spending time with you. I believe that as they honor you this first month of January, you're going to honor them in a special way the remaining 11 months of this year. So I pray, God, a fresh wind a favor, a fresh wind of motivation, a fresh energy, a renewed spark in their spirit to finish 31-day challenge strong. Because I believe you want to do a wonderful work these last couple of weeks in January and through 31 Day Challenge. We love you, God, and we praise you for being so faithful to each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, I love you so much, and I'm praying for you every single morning. If you haven't gone to the chat board, go to my website, click on the 31 Day Challenge chat tab, and start posting. I love you so much, and I'm praying for you. God bless you.